Hey folks, Bill Swift from Swift Canoe, and we've got two special boats to tell you about today. The Swift Dragonfly and the Swift Wildfire. Let's go at it. Okay folks, let's start with the dragonfly. And many folks have asked, this is the Curtis dragonfly. Dave Curtis was a mentor of mine. I grew up in Rochester, New York, right near his shop in the Finger Lakes. As a child, I used to go down there quite often and Dave would tell me all kinds of stories and I'd listen to him talk to customers and other people in the industry. And Dave started producing this boat in the early 80s, 1983, 1984. Word is that he produced uh, a bit less than 100 of them. And Dave is a master builder of hand laminated hulls. There's probably no one finer in the industry at it. So after a while, he retired this mold. And then sometime in the 2000s, David Yost took the mold to Colden Canoe in western New York. And another friend of mine, Paul Meyer, started producing this boat. And he made a handful of them. He converted the, boat, the mold to the infusion process. And since then, Paul's wanted to retire and move on to other things in life. And we've gotten the mold. And let's have our lead engineer, Matt, tell us how he's converted this mold, and now we're producing it in our resin infusion process. Matt is our lead engineer. He's done quite a bit of work to take this mold from what it was to convert it to be able to produce boats in our resin infusion process. Yep, so uh, uh, th this was an uh, old mold, clearly, when we got it here. Uh, there was a lot of wear, obviously, uh, you know, different technologies years ago, uh, a lot of a lot of our competitors and other canoe companies were doing uh, hand laminated canoes. So originally this would have been a hand laminated mold where they would have reflanged it for the infusion process. Um, by the time it got to us here at Swift, there was uh, quite a bit of damage. If we actually look inside, anywhere that we can see green would have been damage on the mold that we had to repair because uh, we need a extremely vacuum stable environment for our infusion process. So we spent a lot of time hunting down every single hairline crack in this mold, all the imperfections that we could deal with. and. Uh, you know, we made some modifications to the mold. We, we stretched her out a little bit in the center to bring her out to where she's supposed to be. And then we retooled some new float tanks for it so that it fits in there perfectly. Uh, we remade a cart for it. We uh, reflanged it just to make sure we had a good uh, seal. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we've made the first few dragonflies and we're hoping to get a few more out. So, Matt, we're going to build, you figure we can get 15 really good pulls out of this mold. Yeah, I, I'd say we could comfortably get 15 pulls. You know, like I said, this mold's very old. It's seen a lot. Um, maybe we can get more. We'll see how things go after we get the 15 out, and uh, we'll go from there, right? So we are doing an initial special run of 15 limited edition dragonflies. So many folks have been inquiring about, and we've got a couple of the spots sold already. And let's show the boat to you. So here is a dragonfly. And check this out, folks. Look how rounded the hull shape is. It's extremely rounded on the bottom. And note how high up the widest point is. It can really be leaned way over on the side. And it also has a tremendous amount of flare to it. It really pushes the waves out to the side and away from the boat. 14 and a half feet long. 24 and a half inches wide at the gunnels, and there's two and a half inches of rockery each end of it. And this is Terry, our trim manager, and Terry loves special projects like this. <laughs> yeah, they're great, they're great. So this is a boat when it first came in, it was at 21 and a half inches, I think, and we've extended the sides out to get it to the 24 that Bill was talking about. And then we made these custom wood brackets that give you the ability, if you wanted to, you could go up and down a little bit, but they're all specifically done to the, the angle of which our gunnel is at, so they can fit nicely. 
and it gives the boat more rigidity. Like, Terry, the way you've done this. Yeah, like, we used to do uh, single posts, and then we found there was a little bit of twisting in the boat, so by us going with one solid piece, it, it created so much rigidity. Now, with our seat also, the swift seat that has the angle to the front bar, people can comfortably kneel or sit in this boat, and what we wanted to have people to be able to do is that if they wanted to drop the front down a little bit or raise the back, they can put washers in. They can put a little piece of wood dowel if they wanted to drop it down more. They could sand the block off a little bit in the back if they wanted to raise the back up. So it's going to give the paddler the ability to play with the position of the seat. So the Dragonfly, guys, very super cool boat. Here is the wildfire mold. David Yost and Charlie Wilson conceptualized three boats. The Flash Fire, 13 feet long, the Wildfire, this baby at 14, and the Starfire at 15 feet long in the early 90s. In about 1994, Bell Canoe started producing Wildfires and Flash Fires. And absolutely cool boats, Equal rocker at each end, two and, a, two and a half inches, very maneuverable. Freestyle canoe community absolutely love these boats. And also people that really like to do river running. Very maneuverable, lots of flair, good in white water. Bell made many of these boats. And over the years, Bell Canoe sold out to ORC Industries. And before that happened, Charlie Wilson took the molds to Placid Boatworks. There, he built a handful of wildfires. He converted the mold to and the infusion process. From there, the mold then went down to Colden Canoe in Western New York. And Paul Meyer built a number of wildfires there. And when Paul wanted to get out of the business, we made an arrangement where we got the mold and now we're starting to build them. And Matt, why don't you come over and talk about this baby? Because this baby needed a lot of work also. Yeah, yeah, this, uh, this mold's uh, seen some boats, that's for sure. Uh, so when it got here, uh, it was looking pretty good when we started on it. And then uh, we leaned on the flange and it fell off on us. So we, uh, we had to rebuild the flange. And then uh, we had lots of work to do, gel work, and uh, again, we need a really good seal. So I'm actually very surprised this mold shined up pretty good for a mold of its uh, age. And uh, yeah, we had to make a new cart for it and uh, all kinds of stuff. So we're, uh, we're hoping to get as many as we can out of this mold. And then uh, we plan on making our own swift grade infusion mold so that we can continue to make beautiful wildfires. So this boat, we're going to produce way more than 15 of. Yeah, like I said, you know, we're hoping to get a few boats out of this one. We'll more than likely use this mold to create our plug to create the new mold. And then, uh, yeah, uh, once we have a new swift, uh, swift quality mold, we'll be able to make as many as we want. Awesome. Yeah. Cheers. So an industry icon and good friend Charlie Wilson conceptualized this boat. He wanted to get a boat that had a lot of the characteristics of the Dragonfly, but was a little bit more user-friendly. The Dragonfly has a very rounded bottom. It's a very nimble boat, and people that aren't as skilled, it, it gets tipped over quite frequently at demo days and so on. So the Wildfire is three inches wider at the gunnel. It's got even more flair to it. And Joe, let's show the folks. It too has a really unique bottom shape. It's got a lot of flair to it. And like the Dragonfly, the, the shoulders brought way up the widest point, really pushes water off to the side. Very skilled freestyle paddlers will lean this boat right to the gunnels. And even though it has two and a half inches of rocker and it's very maneuverable, when they lean the boat way over on its side, it takes even more of the ends out of the water and people can do real quick snap turns with the boat. So Terry did the same with this boat. When he trims this boat out, you can see it's got the nice cherry handles and thwarts we do on all our other boats. And he's custom made some parts right here, which just like the Dragonfly, is going to allow the paddler to adjust the specific height, the pitch and the height of the seat to suit their particular needs. 
both the dragonfly and the wildfire, we're not going to do with side pods because we really feel that that particular customer is really going to want to custom precision have the seat to their specific needs. So the Swift Wildfire folks, it's ready and it wants to come to you.